What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net. I'm a little congested. Sorry about that. Anyways, I'm here as I am Monday through Friday bringing your junk journal content and videos. So if that's what you're into, please do subscribe. Give me a little thumbs up on this video. It would really help me out. And hello, how are how is everybody today? I hope everybody had a great day. Um, today what we are doing is, I don't know what these are going to end up being, which is what I... <laughs> Which is what is a lot of my uh, projects here end up being. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Eventually, we find out. But for right now, something is telling me glue stamps to paper. So that's what I'm doing. And then we'll figure out what we'll do with them later. Hi, Miss Jen. Hi, Miss Gigi. How are y'all? We'll figure out what we do with them later. I have seen a lot of people on the facebook junk journal groups talking about or uh, posting their projects on about decoupaged stamps or stamp collage and i said you know who has a lot of stamps you know who has a lot a lot of stamps me uh, that's who <laughs> so i have been for the last like two hours two and a half hours i have been doing nothing but sitting here watching tv and then decoupaging um, I start off just with one of my, you know, junky books, um, just tearing off the pages and then gluing all, them all over. My nose is ridiculous, you guys. Um, and so that's how they started off with. So I did that with the small pages. I did several of those. And then I said, well, what if I do a bigger page? And so I went a little crazy. This one is the big one. <laughs> I do. I have a lot of stamps. <clears throat> this is the big uh, music sheet paper. And I thought, why don't I decoupage that too? So <laughs> that's what I did. This is the, the first big page that I've decoupaged. Let me go blow my nose. Hold on, me, you guys. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so I have now decoupaged uh, this sheet and I'm going to finish it off. And then I think for now I'm going to keep doing the small papers because this is actually a lot of work. Not that that's an issue, but I don't know what these are going to end up as. So I don't want to put too many going this way. What if I end up wanting the page to be this way? You know what I mean? So I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. So I don't want to waste... Not, it, not that it's a waste, really, but I just, I don't want to do all that work, and then I'm not sure what I'm going to do, and then I need them to go this way. Anyways, I'm going to finish this one off, though, here. Um, so, yeah, I have a lot of stamps. <laughs> I got them off of eBay, so if you go to eBay, you can look up vintage stamp lots. That's what you should look up, vintage stamp lots. And you'll see different uh, vendors on there selling stamps. And um, <clears throat> they're usually not expensive. Uh, they're usually pretty cheap. Um, the only thing is, here's my advice. Okay, here's the advice. If you're going to go on eBay and if you're going to buy uh, stamps, here is my advice. Purchase from different people. Don't purchase from the same person. Uh, because you run the risk of getting all the same kind of stamps. Like I have like 10 million of these stamps. I bought maybe two different lots from the same person and I just got like all the same kind of stamps. So that was kind of a bummer. That hadn't happened before when I purchased from different people. So do make sure if you're going to buy stamps, you're going to buy more than one set. Do yourself a favor and purchase from more than one vendor. That's my advice. So yeah, vintage stamps are really not expensive at all, and they shouldn't be, so don't spend too much on them. You keep looking for the cheapest ones. I mean, they're all, there's not going to be any better or lower quality stamp. They're all stamps. So that's my advice. So just buy the cheapest for the most, the most you can get for the cheapest price. And I wouldn't, I couldn't even link you to them because... They change all the time and people run out of stock and so just go on eBay and look at vintage stamp lots. I would not go on Etsy. Etsy, they like to be bougie and they sell uh, things like this for a little bit too expensive. 
So this thing is more for Amazon, for eBay, because it's not like handmade. So just buy the cheapest you can get. That'll go there. And I've just been kind of like linear as I can. When I can. Your nose and mine are always on the same schedule. They'd be great tags or your cards. Yeah, I have, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. This paper, I don't know if I would make this paper into tags because it's too papery. It's me tags. I'm more like cardstock. But that's just me. That's just me. Ooh, there's a butterfly. I never really get cutesy, cutesy butter, uh, stamps, but once in a while there's some cute stamps. So let's see. Then I go in and fill in the gaps like that. Or I can go back and move this stamp so that it fills in the gaps. It doesn't really matter if the stamps overlap to me. I don't think it doesn't matter to me. We do overlap them a little bit. And I'm just using regular Mod, Pod, Mod Posh. Mod Posh. Here's a set. Let's see. And then I, I have a bunch of these stamps too, Mr. Franklin Roosevelt. But this last time that I bought from a different vendor, ooh, this person had like every stamp I got was different. And that's that's not normal, to be honest with you. Normally I get like sets like this, where they have like a hundred of these for some reason. I don't know why these people have these stamps. Okay, we're getting to the, the end of the page here. And it's kind of big, so I'm like curling it up <laughs> against myself. Can you hear it to cards off? Yeah, but then I kind of lose, like, I want it to show off the fact that it's music sheet paper. Otherwise, I would have just adhered it to cardstock, you know, which is not a bad idea either. Which we could possibly do. We could possibly, actually, 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 we should do that. Miss Jen, that's why I keep. That's why I keep hiring her back, you guys. Every time I fire her, I hire her back. She's got the good ideas. Why don't you just glue it onto our side, Daisy? Hello. We'll do that. I just had a lot of book paper, which I I'm probably going to end up making these into envelopes. Because they're kind of the perfect size for little mini envelopes. And I do decoupage a layer at the end. So that it basically turns the paper all into one piece. You see how none of the stamps are like sticking out? Anyways, we're just gluing stamps from all over the world. But you know what, Miss Miss Elizabeth over here, she has like 7 million stamps of different countries that she owns. <laughs> okay, let's get glue over here. And I don't really, I've been um, just adding glue to where I'm going to go next because it this glue kind of dries out a little bit. Just a little bit. See, this is also a good spot for me to use up all these stamps that I have a lot of. <laughs> it's the perfect spot because even if I have it down here, I can put it up here and it still looks kind of cool. Um, let's see what else I have to have. I have already put that over here. Here's this Domenica stamp. That would be perfect right there. I try and keep it moving. I'm really trying not to like spend too much time thinking about it <clears throat> there's no theme or anything so it doesn't have to be perfect nothing of mine ever has to be perfect look at this number she's cute right here got this pretty flower right here just keep it moving i can't believe the queen survived she's tough old girl girl She's not a tough old gal. She's got like the world's best medical team. So it's not really a surprise. <laughs> I don't know what the surprise is. She's got the best medical team 24 hours on call. So I am not surprised. That's what money gets you. That's what money gets you. <laughs> Good for her though. <laughs> Let's see, put this over here. True, I'm saying. I'm saying. Just telling it how it is. Look at this cool long stamp. What is this for? I I don't know what country this is for. Magnar Posta. I don't know what that means. But that is the coolest stamp, but it fits this last little star right here like a glove. Look at that. This is kind of crazy. This is like literally a poster sized 
sheet of paper right here like because this is so big and it's okay if you go over the edge i'm gonna cut that off later i went over the edge a couple of times isn't that fun this is so big this is huge um like i said i just don't know if i'm gonna want to use it like this or like this I guess I could make a couple either way, um, but yeah, let's let's do some smaller ones. Just have this regular. This I guess I wouldn't mind cutting up into tags and putting them on on cardstock. I guess I wouldn't mind with that. Okay, let's keep going. Well, I actually usually start from the bottom. So that's weird that I just did that. Hang on. Not that it matters. Not that it really matters, but it just makes me feel better. <laughs> it makes me feel better if I start from the bottom. I don't know what I was thinking. What was I thinking? I don't know. I don't know. I am just grabbing from my stash, placing it down. I really don't care about color or placement. It's just really random. Just grab it and glue it down. Just try to have fun here. Trying to have fun. Ooh, this little New Zealand stamp is so cute. This India stamp, why not? There we go. And of course, I'm using my um, silicone brush because I just love me a little silicone brush moment. These want to go together, so okay, you can go together. Why not? Why not? Ooh, look at this colorful stamp. I don't know where it's from. And then sometimes there is a little gap right there, so I'll fill it with the tiniest, tiniest of tiniest of stamps. Like that. Like this person from Canada. I have a piece of fabric that's similar to what? To what? To like a bunch of stamps collaged? I was thinking of scanning them. I don't know who this guy is, but he is adorable. Something about, about Belgique. I don't know what that means. Maybe that's Belgium. I don't know. Belgique, it says. Ooh. Republic of Colombia. That's a fancy stamp. I love it. I wish more stamps had flowers and less random dudes. <laughs> There's a lot of dudes on stamps. I, I just, I noticed. <laughs> um, it's, there's a lot of dudes and then Queen Victoria. That's all. That's all that makes it to stamps, apparently. Let's see here. Just putting stamps down. What is this? Oh, it's like a little Christmas stamp. I'm trying to keep my Christmas stamps up, right? But not really. I'm just kind of putting them in this, this little compartment <laughs> as I find them. Okay. I'll take Carla. Oh, wait, that's what I'm saying. That goes this way. Are they old enough to scan? Uh um with things like this, okay, here's here's the thing. Here's the thing with stamps, and here's the thing with books, okay? It is illegal to scan a book. Okay, it is illegal to scan a stamp. I'm sure it's illegal to scan a stamp. To try, with the purpose of trying to fool somebody into thinking that it's a real stamp. That's what's illegal. What's illegal about copying a book in its entirety is that now you are um, prohibiting that author from gaining the money that they would from that book. But if all I did was scan if all I did was scan one stamp in this whole pile right here, nobody is going to say, oh, now I don't have to buy stamps. Great, I'll just use these stamps. 
Nobody is going to take three lines from a book that they see scanned somewhere and say, oh, now I don't have to buy that book. So that's why even people who scan things like stamps, even people who scan things like little pieces of a book here and there don't get sued. Because I am not trying to tell you that you can use this stamp to mail something. That's why it's okay. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, these stamps. <laughs> I've I've read into this a lot um, in my line of work. Of course, I have to. I have to stay somewhat important. Now, do I blatantly copyright? No, I don't. With the purpose of like, oh, I scanned this, and now I'm gonna tell you, oh, it's it's the whole book. You don't have to even buy the book if you don't want to, because I copy the whole book. That's not what I do. So that's why art is protected in that way. Because of course they could say that. But they don't because they it won't stand in court. It won't stand in court. They, that's been brought before courts before. And like I said, as long as I'm not telling you, hey, you can use this stamp and ship something off. Or hey, you don't have to buy the book because I copied it over here. Nobody's going to take art and say, oh, great, now I don't have to buy the whole book. It's just not going to happen. I thought I saw a Christmas stamp somewhere. Right, here's this red stamp. I'm not trying to get you in trouble. I'm just trying to be careful. Yes, Miss Jen, I completely, completely understand. But again, that's also why you have that fabric with a bunch of stamps on it, is because it's not exactly illegal. I would love to see all these countries here band together to sue me. I would love to see it. That would be great. That would be <laughs> that would be um, a collective effort, a, a united world connected effort I've never seen in my life. <laughs> okay, that's what I There's been a lot of <laughs> there's been a lot of things lately. I've seen. I'm going back to a YouTube scare of like three years ago when everybody was like deleting their YouTube channel because they're like, "Oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have to pay. They're gonna make me pay. Nobody's gonna make me pay." Okay, my government. I trust my government to function. I don't trust it to sue ten million people at once. It's not gonna happen. Anyways, what else is new with y'all? Barbados. You know what? There's a lot of stamps here from Barbados. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Let's see what have we got over here. We got this guy. Yeah, he can fill up that little gap right there. Okay, look at that. We're all done. See, this is nice. You do it, and there's a lot of extra paper that's going to get cut off, but that's okay. Wasn't sure if there was special permission or not. There's not. There, there's not. That's why they do it. Now, I'm going to go around asking 10 million countries for their permission. That's not going to happen. This is art, y'all. Like, come on. I'm not even Banksy or nothing. <laughs> I'm not, like, on Banksy level. If you were on Banksy's level, they might come after you. I don't know. Perhaps. But not. I'm good. I don't know who I am. <laughs> if y'all have ever, I, the, if y'all have ever been to Mexico, it's such a trip because I don't know. They either don't enforce copyright laws, or it doesn't matter. I don't know. But you go to Mexico, and there's Mickey Mouse. This there's, oh my God! Everybody steals everybody's cartoon characters. It's 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 really funny. It's really funny. And um, I remember there was, back in the day, you could go to the swap meet and buy, you know, pirated music. But now the, the government did crack down on that. Because at one point, there was no more music stalls at the swap meets. <laughs> okay, let's see. Now I'm going to do a layer of decoupage on top. A nice little decoupage moment here. 
Oh yeah, this is great. I just do one coat. Just make sure I get some of the stamps that are a little loose. I just kind of wiggle my brush underneath the stamp to make sure it's glued down. Okay, that's it. This one is done. I'm going to put it off to the side to dry. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't take I didn't put Jacob Pouch over this. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. My son is restarting public school tomorrow. Oh, I don't know if he, I'd be excited or not. I don't know. I can't imagine, like, not having to go to school for a year or two. That's, that's insane. That's crazy. So it must be a difference to go back. That's crazy. Some kids didn't go to school for a solid year. Crazy to think about. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take a pause on this. I haven't actually... In the beginning, I was kind of decoupaging as I was going, and then I just decided not to do that, I guess. See? You see how this stuff was kind of loose? I just looked at it. You could tell. You could just tell it was loose. Here needs a stamp. I need a teeny tiny stamp right here. Stamp right here. There we go. There we go. Okay. I am decoupaging on top of a piece of parchment paper just so I can protect my tables. Hey, no yelling at the boss days. <laughs> yeah. He's been homeschooled for several years. I was homeschooled my last years of high school. That was interesting. <laughs> that was interesting. Okay, this looks so good. I don't know why I didn't think about this before, but like I said, there's been several people now that I see make projects with decoupage stamps. And I was just like, you know what? I need to get in on that. I'm going to go in. That looks like so much fun. I have some of these stamps. <laughs> and then I ordered more. <laughs> not right now. Like, I mean, not too long ago, I, I had ordered more stamps. Because I was kind of sick of... I ordered stamps, but like I said, they, I bought them all from one vendor. Don't do that. If you're going to find stamps, like I said, go on eBay, look up Vintage Stamp Lot. Vintage Stamp Lot. And that is where you'll find vintage stamps. Buy the most for the least amount of money you can get. <laughs> Nobody has better stamps than the other person. So if you're looking for a used stamp, a used stamp is a used stamp, you know? There's no, there's no high-end stamps. <laughs> they're all, they're all the same. So get the, the most you can for your dollar. And you can have this much fun too. <laughs> Uh, I think it'll be good for him. My mama needs a break. <laughs> I bet. Let's see. Okay. All right. That looks good to me. Like I said, I've just been doing one coat. That's been enough. Till I see that it's not, that'll do. I looked over and I'm like, the other one's wet. Why does this one not look wet? And so now I'm going to put it off to the side to dry. It's taking up the whole table, but okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do another little P page and then we'll do the page. Maybe. Oh, oh, oh. I want to show you all my new Jane Austen journal kit because I printed out 
what I had designed so far. So let me show you the new Jane Austen kit. Now, I will say this because I know this for a fact, okay? I don't use the same Jane Austen pictures you've seen before. I, myself, sourced this clip art, cut, literally cut it out from its background, digitally, of course. Nobody else does that. So I literally am the only one with these uh, Regen Regency era pictures. I can guarantee you that. So everybody pretty much uses the same Jane Austen pictures. I'm not going to lie. They kind of do. And uh, so I'm going for something different. I am, like I said, I, I cut these out digitally myself. Look how beautiful these ladies are. Their dresses are so dainty. Pink roses, a little bit of gray, a little bit of um, um, hot pink, a little bit of a dark green with these right here. Pemberley. I'm, I'm honestly, I don't, I have not seen the Jane Austen <laughs> movies or read them myself. Sorry to break it to you, but I have done my research, so I know, I know things about it. <laughs> I know things about it. Look how pretty this is right here. This little clip art right here. Uh, it's a Society of Obstinate Headstrong Girls Seriously Displeasing since 1813. I guess that's a thing. I kept seeing a bunch of those. I, I just I bought one of these. Uh, I think I bought that one. And there she is. And then here's more. I love that bust. I think it looks gorgeous along with everything else in that picture. Uh, Jane Austen since 1813, Pride and Prejudice since 1813. Oh, I forgot I printed that twice. This is the calendar page with them dancing. Hi, Miss Beverly. And then this is the other page, which is two of them kind of looking off to the side. Uh, this is one of the uh, ephemera pages. I still have six of these to go, and then I have to design the pages themselves. But this is the ephemera for the kid. Isn't that adorable? I love that tag so much. It's like vintage Barbie. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Gigi. And then there's some quotes from her. And then some more of the Regency era dolls there. And then I got my jars right here, which are great. Oh, you know, I didn't notice that printed out bluish. I will have to fix that because that looks a little muddy. Okay. So that's what I have to show off <laughs> for my new uh for my new Jane Austen kit so that was just a little preview there you're gonna do a Jane Austen bundle yeah that's what this is this is the new Jane Austen kit bundle whatever it's called <laughs> to me my kits are my are bundles too but um yeah it'll be 29 pages and I might do separate more ephemera because I've been wanting to do Jane Austen stuff again for a while I have for a minute then I'll be getting back to it. And those would have taken a lot longer, but I have had that, um, I've had that Jane Austen clip art in my back burner, just waiting for the inspiration to strike. And yesterday I was like, it was just rolling out. It was great. It was just coming out of me. It was wonderful. Got a lot of work done yesterday. And today, too. Um, tomorrow, I plan on having my uh, junk journal dangles in my shop. I have single sets, which is just, you know, single pins. I'm trying to find one that's perfect for this size right here. Um, I have single size pin ones, and then I have uh, these ones. I finally finished them. <laughs> a pile of beads just on the table. This is my pink one, which I don't know why, but I didn't put the charms on this one yet. This is all pink. This is all purple. And again, these will be my shop tomorrow. There's 12 pins on this one. So it's a chunky monkey. It's actually pretty heavy. And I have another pink one, which this one's going to be prayer journal. There's crosses and angels on that one. And then this is my bully one. Oops. Which is... As you can see, a blue. So these will be in my shop tomorrow. I need to take pictures and all that. 
All that jazz, that's what I'll be busy with tonight. Okay, anyways, back to our scheduled program. <laughs> back to our regularly scheduled program here. Um, Jen says, like the bundles you've been putting together, the old kids. No. Well, um, I have, yeah, actually I have been, um, I was going to bundle up the Christmas Jane Austen um, stuff because I have a bunch of Jane Austen Christmas stuff that I have to bundle up. Um, but I, I don't think I was going to bundle up my old, maybe, maybe I will bundle up my old Jane Austen stuff. I don't know. I don't know yet. I just, I had, I spent three, literally three weeks <laughs> bundling things up. So I'm kind of like, I want to get back to design. <laughs> I want to get back to designing stuff. So for now, until I'm back in the mood to do it again. I still have to go through my Christmas stuff. I'm not even done bundling up and bundling up my old designs. And I'm up to 22 bundles right now. <laughs> and it's just insane. It's just insane. But like, I, I just, I, I couldn't handle that I had 1,200 listings in my Etsy store. <laughs> and then I'm like, I'm thinking of adding more. Like, what is going on? This is a little crazy. This is not Walmart. You're going gonna to have 3,000 listings. <laughs> So I thought it was a good idea in the beginning. <laughs> I thought it was a good idea in the beginning, and now I'm like, oh, man, this is the worst idea I could have ever came up with. Just because it's such a hassle. It is actually a really big hassle to bundle things up because first I have to, like, decide. I put things in, like, common groups, right? So they have to have something in common. So that's why I did the... Black and white ink saver bundles. I did this, the like neutral bundles and then my other florals that I had designed to go together, but I never put them in one listing together. And so that is a hassle. <laughs> and then I had to come up with that. Then also trying to fit 50 pages onto three PDFs or two pdfs and three zips is not as easy as you think it's i don't know if i'm talking too technical but it's like a lot of work and then all the preview photos i have to do where is this from france <sighs> france you have dope stamps yo that is dope this is cool this is a such a cool stamp oh my god look at that it's like cool train oh my god that is fabulous that is just fabulous i love it got a little gap here so i need a tiny little stamp teeny tiny little stamp can also be a bunch too that is also an idea miss jen thank you like i said i want to create <laughs> and then when i'm in the mood for <laughs> When I'm in the mood to work, I'll do it. I had to take a break. I had to take a break from not designing because I like I want to design. I want to design. <laughs> I hadn't actually designed in a month. It had been a month since I had made any printables because I had been literally just focused on bundling things up. It took me three weeks to make 22 bundles. <laughs> Oh, all the, my back hurts just thinking about all the work I've done. Okay. I had to do it though. I had to do it. I mean, I've been making, I've been making junk journal printables for the last 10 years now. <laughs> so I had quite the stash of listings. Uh, who's here? Miss Patricia. Hi, darling. Where's my, my napkin? I had a napkin. Oh, here. I had a napkin. Although it doesn't matter. I don't want to get glue on the back of the page. <laughs> yeah, you got to be, you know, it's almost like, uh, you know, like those chefs that they clean their table, they clean their kitchen as they go. It's like, that's how I feel. I feel like a little chef. <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding. Okay, let's see. I need something bigger right here. Do I have, there's this stamp. Is this big enough? Ooh, it is. 
And I already, I'm already feeling like I'm late for fall. You guys, designing for stuff is kind of a trip. If you're trying to design for like a holiday, you literally have to think about it like six to eight months before the holiday. <laughs> so I already feel like, oh, I'm already, it's already too late for fall. It's already too late for fall. I know that's silly to think about. I know that's silly to say. <laughs> So that's how it is when it comes to designing things for certain holidays. Tonga, look how cool this Tonga stamp. That is, that's cool. Like this little stamp, this little rabbit stamp. I think that's from Russia. We're gonna put this one over here. I think that's Russian. I think. Have you thought of retiring stuff? Um, I have retired stuff. I definitely have retired stuff. Um, but no, <laughs> no, I just put in, I put all my older stuff in bundles. So I think that's how I'm going to keep it for now. Cause nothing seems like too out of style for me. It doesn't seem, you know, outdated yet. I mean, I don't think so. These pants are still right here. And then... So no, I haven't retired it. I haven't thought about it, honestly. <laughs> I still, to this day, sell my very first stroke journal kit I put up for sale. I still sell it. <clears throat> so I haven't. <laughs> there are some things that I, I, I don't think are going to stay in my shop. I, I will say I'm, I am going to retire my monochrome junk journal kit and probably do another monochrome junk journal kit. That one wasn't too popular. So, I mean, I can admit that. <laughs> I can admit that. So, probably those ones. I'll probably retire those ones. They don't really fit in any other bundle idea that I would come up with. I once thought about bundling up all my junk journal kits, but I don't have, I don't think I have enough of them to like do that yet. So, I only have like 30 junk journal kits, I believe. I believe it's only 30. All right. Gotta love the Mod Podge. Oh, yeah. I love it. Of course, they say that if you can't, if you don't have Mod Podge, they said you can use Elmer's glue with water. That's what I've heard. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Hang on, there's like a little bit of excess glue I'll take off. Just a little bit, otherwise it'll crinkle up a little bit. Okay, gotta end it somewhere. Gotta call it quits somewhere. There we go. Okay. Let's do, should we do another one of these big ones? <laughs> I don't know why I feel like I want to do another one of these big ones. It literally will take me like 45 minutes though, so I won't finish it in time. We'll just do some more small ones. I'll just do a couple of small ones. And I, 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 I legit, I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. I don't know what they're going to end up as. So I'm just having fun. I'm just, like I said, sometimes I don't have a specific f purpose for something I want to do. But just something inside me is like compelling me to glue stuff together. <laughs> uh, and then like, we'll think about it later. <laughs> We'll figure it out later. And sometimes that's next week. And sometimes that's literally two years from now. But that's okay. I'm just having fun. And it doesn't matter what pace I go at. I'm just having fun. <clears throat> I'm just trying to chill. I'm just trying to forget about bills. <laughs> trying to forget about my bills. Trying to forget about everything. Just trying to glue some stuff down. 
Denmark. Wait, that's too much red right there. We'll put this green one. We got Mr. Roosevelt still over here hanging out. Over there. Here's this can can Canada. This Canada stamp. Uh, <laughs> I'm laughing because I had this one friend in, in college. And she was from Canada. I legit, I can't remember what her real name is. But we just started calling her Canada. <laughs> was her name Jessica? I think her name was Jessica. <laughs> but we just started calling her Canada. That's so rude, like, thinking back now. <laughs> thinking back on it now, it's kind of rude. But that's what we did. We called her Canada. And she was like, okay. So, hey, she was Canada. I'm trying to think, I'm like, what was her real name? She was one of my bridesmaids. I better remember her name. <laughs> Let's see, we'll do this over here. Census of India. Okay. Let's do that. And I usually work left to right, but whatever. I'm breaking my own rules here. Mod Podge is $3.99 right now on Amazon for the big jar. What is the big jar? Is this the big jar? Or is the 32 ounce the big jar? I've had I I've had both sides. I can't remember. It's it, it's crazy to think about how much Mod Podge you've gone through in your life. I'm thinking about it I'm like I've had the small, I've had this size, I've had the bigger size, and I've used them all. Ever since I learned about Mod Podge. I have loved Mod Posh. I have loved Mod Posh. And I kind of, I've kind of never even deviated from the original map. I always buy map. <laughs> always, always buy the map one. It's never even really map, so it's always got a little bit of a shine to it. What kind of stamps we got over here? Malaya? What's Malaya? Is that like Malaysia? I don't know. I don't know, I'm not very smart. Let's see. Dooch Buddhist post. Okay, I'm gonna stop trying to read other languages because I can't. Helvetia, I know Helvetia. Is that is that like the real Helvetia? Okay. <laughs> I play this video game and it's based in West Virginia. And they have a Helvetia in West Virginia, I guess. So, and I think it's Swiss. So, is this Swiss? This might be Swiss. They have a little blowhorn. I don't know if that's Swiss. I think it's Swiss. <laughs> I could be mistaken, but I believe if I play the game enough, <laughs> I believe it's Swiss. And I never knew anything about West Virginia. Never cared about West Virginia. All of a sudden, I play this video game. It's about West Virginia. And I'm like, I want to go to West Virginia. You guys, why is West Virginia looking so cool? <laughs> so I do want to go to West Virginia so I can visit all the all the sites that are in this video game, which is just basically based off West Virginia. And so they have all the little towns that West Virginia does too. But of course, it's in a video game form. Okay, let's do here Denmark we'll go over wait 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 I need to put I'm gonna put the healthy show one right there and then we need a small one over here at the end this one's gonna get cut off but okay Chile that's cool Chile Helvetia is swish Switzerland? Okay. That is how smart I am. Thank you. It says Helvetia. Thank you, thank you. That's how smart I am. I would never... <laughs> I would never get it right. Okay. Let's see Pakistan right there. And we got Canada. And... If you guys don't know, the can is more important than the duh. <laughs> that's from, that's from, uh, what's it called? 
clueless. <laughs> the can is more important than the duh. <laughs> oh no, that's blue. I don't want it to be blue because that's blue. Oh, I don't want to come out the Helvetia. I don't come out the Helvetia. <laughs> I didn't plan that one out very good. <sighs> is this another one? <sighs> Magyar Posta. Is that... The other one was in France. That was a cool uh, train stamp. I don't know if that means it's from France. When it says Magyar Posta. I don't know. Ooh, the Cayman Islands. How pretty that is. And they have Elizabeth on there. Have you figured it out, Davey? You thought it was there. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Got this cancer stamp. We got this stamp. Oh, that's just stuck there now. I just kind of, I can't take it off. Okay, so New Zealand. Here's a New Zealand stamp right there. It's going to cover that one up, but you know what? Whatever, that's fine. Nigeria. Oh, I thought it was a duck. It's a cricket. I thought it was a duck. I might need new glasses. <laughs> It, it might be done. Let's see. That's straight up like a good duck from far away. That's not a good sign. <laughs> All right. So we got this little stamp collage done. Done, did, and finished. Oh, gotta love my allergy medicine. It stops me from sneezing, but then sometimes it just makes me stuffy. <laughs> So I'm not sneezing. It's just all stuck up in there. <laughs> so that's great. <laughs> it's a great trade-off. Let's see here. Okay. I'm trying to get in between all those stamps that weren't exactly properly adhered. Stamps are fun. So cool. Yes, they are, aren't they? And they're from all over the place, and they look so cool together. I love it. I have loved stamps for a long time. <laughs> My mom used to work in a mail room, and she would bring me home stamps on a, on the envelope. And I would soak them, and then I what? I don't know who told me back in the 90s when I was a kid that stamps was cool. I think it is like it was like a thing on TV that people did. And nobody in my life for my culture of collected collected stamps. Like we'd all we would all just arrived to the country. So none of us uh collected stamps. I must have picked it up from somewhere on TV, the whole hobby of stamp collecting. And then I told my mom to bring me home stamps. I don't know. I don't know why my mom started to bring me home stamps, but I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. So I even have some of the stamps in here that I used to collect back in the day. They're these ones. <laughs> I'll, I'll always be able to pick them up. These stamps right here, these are literally from back in the day, like <laughs> from the late 90s. This one, this one with the rooster was also from back in the day. Oh, oh, this one with the little Tweety Bird. And then this one with this 55 cent. This 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 one right here is very, very late 90s. Oh, there's also these little ones with the little berries. I used to love those. She used to, she bring me these are literally from back in the day when my mom used to bring me home stamps. <laughs> and now I can junk journal with them. Yeah, maybe reading Rainbow Tachi. Maybe. I don't know. I, mean, I saw it somewhere. Now, like, uh, there's there's a lot of, looking back, there's a lot of 90s cartoons with a lot of older characters. Somebody must have talked about collecting stamps. I don't know. I even had a little binder. I would go to the, there was a stamp and coin store in my, my hometown. I remember going there, picking out, like, 10-cent stamps. They were never, like, anything expensive. <laughs> 
they were never like anything expensive. They always like the they always had like a bin of like one penny, ten cent stamps. So I would get some from there, and I'd be like, "Ooh, I'm gonna add it to my collection." <laughs> But like, you know, that's how I got, it's how I kind of fell in love with, you know, junk journaling even back in the days, like getting, I was getting ready for junk journaling back in the days, okay, I've been, I've been gathering junk journaling supplies my whole life, okay, my whole life, <laughs> pretty much my entire life. I've also been, um, my mom and my dad, they were really big on going to yard sales. So I've been going to yard sales, I've been going to thrift stores my whole whole life literally my whole life i i have so many memories of getting up so early in the morning six in the morning five in the morning to go to a couple towns over <laughs> where the people had a little bit more money <laughs> and we'd go to the yard sales and i loved every minute of it i really did i really did it was always so exciting it all it taught me as a very young child <laughs> that my mom will not buy me a five dollar toy but if i can find a five uh five toys at a thrift store or five toys at a yard sale that i could buy for a dollar she would buy that for me. you know what i mean so i <laughs> it taught me how to bargain <laughs> taught me how to bargain taught me how taught me what a good deal was you know <laughs> And then always, whenever I used to go to thrift shops, or no, every time I used to go to a yard sale as a kid, and, you know, you'd ask, how much is this toy? And they'd be like, just take it. <laughs> Half the time, they'd be like, oh, just take it. It's like some little McDonald's toy. Just take it. <laughs> so I loved it, you guys. I grew up thrift store and yard sale shopping. I, to this day, I mean, because, okay, I was going to say, I, to this day, weren't yard uh, thrift store clothes. Um, I don't, only because... The Walmart clothes are just as cheap. It's ridiculous how expensive thrift shops have gotten to the point that Walmart, I can buy a brand new shirt from Walmart at the same price as a thrift store shirt. So, but sometimes, you know, I still need more shirts. So I will go to thrift stores and buy shirts. Um, but it used to be all I would wear back in the day. I really don't care about my style. I don't even like to wear name brands, honestly. You will never see me rocking a logo. I don't even like to wear logos. To be honest with you, my shoes are the only thing that has a logo on it. I don't like to wear logos. So thrift stores and Walmart are the only stores that don't put logos on stuff. And I love it. I, I love it. Something about somebody else's logo on me, it just doesn't feel right. Because I'm a designer, I, I know I don't design clothes, but it just doesn't feel right to me. It's never felt right to me. So I just, other than shoes, I don't do name brands. But I mean shoes, I have Adidas. It's not even like a name brand brand. It's not Gucci or nothing. <laughs> it's not Gucci. I mean, maybe it is to, it would have been Gucci to uh, me as a kid who never got, I did get brand new shoes. I don't, know, never. don't let me bad talk my parents here, talking about how I never got brand new shoes. I did. <laughs> I did get brand new shoes. <sighs> Let's see. This, these are such cool stamps, you guys. Me as a child, I would have been so pumped about this project that I'm doing right now. If you would have told me as a kid, Daisy, you are one day going to have so many stamps. <laughs> so many stamps that you're going to find be dying to find ways to get rid of them not get rid of them but like use them you know as an edge design i would have been like you're a liar <laughs> you're a liar i love it you guys this is this is literally i'm living my best life right here i'm living my best little life <laughs> with these supplies right here i'm loving it I buy Walmart an old name most of the time. I like to wear Keds and Skechers. For my shoes, I like my Adidas. And what else did I use before Adidas? Just like Nike, just like little Nike shoes. <laughs> nothing, nothing crazy. Let's see what is this. 
I sound so stuffy. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> I sound like I can't breathe, but that's because I can't breathe. That's literally because I literally can't breathe. Let's see, I need a tiny stamp right here. Look at this little vintage car, Mr. Henry Ford. Way to go, girlfriend. Way to go. <laughs> Portugal. Portugal. Okay. Europa. That is a weird looking stamp, but okay, we'll put it like this. And then we got this stamp. What is this? I I do have to look at every stamp though. I <laughs> I don't just put it down. I do look at it. This is Canada. That's cool. Canada. I don't know what that is. Polska. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. But it's going. It's going, going, gone. Let's see. This stamp right here is. Oh, Yugoslavia. Is that even a country? Is that still a country? Is Yugoslavia still a country? I, I want to say it's not. <laughs> I want to say I don't think it is anymore. I don't think it's a country. <laughs> it was back in my day. Back in my day. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yes. You guys, I don't know what I'm going to do with this stuff. But if I just sit here and look at it, like, this makes me so happy. I told my husband, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to decoupage my whole wall in stamps. That would be insane. But this is so much fun. I just noticed the time. I, that has been flying since 6, since six o'clock when I sat down to do this. <laughs> I've been decoupaging stamps now for the last, like, three or four hours. <laughs> and just loving it. Literally, this is so much fun. I don't know what these are going to be. Don't know what they're going to end up as, but just something inside me is telling me to glue this stuff down. <laughs> if anything, just for fun, I'm just going to do it. Like I said, here on my channel, you might see me start a project, start something, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with it later. And we might or we may not. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes things take years for me to figure out what am I going to do with it. So I just like to have a lot of fun. This is fun now. This is what I call fun right now. So that's what we're doing. Monica, is that that one actress? Is that the, oh, is that her? Is that, oh, what was her name? What was her name? Was it Kelly? Something, Kelly? Something, oh, gosh. I know that an actress got married with the Prince Monaco back in the day. I can't remember her name. I thought her name was like Kelly something. Here we go, you guys. I had way too much fun tonight. <laughs> Sorry about my ramblings and me talking about random stuff. Probably doesn't even make any sense. But I'm just here talking, okay? <laughs> okay. That's going to be it for me tonight, you guys. But I had a lot of fun. We'll figure out what we did with these in the end. But I had a lot of fun gluing these down with you, the ones that you got to see me do. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me tonight. I'll come back to tomorrow. If I if Maybe you'll figure out what you do with these. Maybe not. But we'll come back and we will have more junk journal fun. Again, I just use regular Mod Podge, the matte one, and a silicone brush. Just kind of went to town on these stamps. Look them up on eBay, you guys. Okay, everybody, have a good night. I will see y'all tomorrow. Thank you guys so, so much for supporting my channel. I think we're going to go live showing off the uh, dangles that I have for sale tomorrow during the day. So look out for that. Okay, guys, thank you guys so much for your support. If you are in the lookout for Junk Journal Printables, please check out my store. Everybody have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.